So I've made some progress while my SD card was uh, copying all my files over to the computer. The inside of the gearbox is now completely empty apart from a bracket that's still installed. Um, I'm gonna take the, the camera that's easier. So the inside of the gearbox uh, this is where the primary shaft goes through to the clutch. This is the location of the secondary shaft. Bear in mind there is a plastic bushing inside. You can pull it out. There is some damage to this bushing. I don't know if it's normal or needs to be replaced. Anyway, I'm going to ask the price for a new one. Um, this was the location of the reverse gear and the shaft, which is this bit right here. Uh, then we had our reverse gear mechanism. Um, I'm looking for it. I'm in between my parts pile. <laughs> I don't seem to find it. Where is it? Where is it? So, four, four. Ah, okay. So, our reverse gear mechanism. Focus. Come on. Focus. Yeah. Reverse gear mechanism, which lifts the gear up or down when you select reverse that was with the bolt with the nut on the outside over here so this goes through this was I think it's a size 26 I did it with a 27 then underneath that mechanism is this little fella don't really know what it's what it is but you can just pull it pull this out of this opening over here and there's a little spring behind it and then came the hardest part with this which is the gear selector uh, mechanism and it broke so bear in mind this bit sits over here like this um, there is a cutter pin going through here and it goes through both this uh, this part and this shaft, little shaft and then we also have the large shaft and there is actually, actually two in one so first you need to pull, uh, push out the small one uh, watch out for this opening you need to push it all the way up so you have room for it to clear mine got stuck in here in this hole um, and both of them at the same time so I had a really hard time getting them out which scratched up my my uh, shaft and made it nearly impossible to get this thing out uh, in the process I damaged this little tab over here and uh, this plastic washer thing uh, also broke a tab and this bracket got bent a little bit so need to go to the Steelers tomorrow and order a new one we still need to remove our reverse gear switch our fill port and ventilation just undo it this bracket needs to come off um, and then the, the last large bit is yeah I still need to remove the the input shaft uh, housing and oil seal and then the differential and its oil seals and then uh, decrease the block or the gearbox and it should be ready to go off to powder coaters <coughs> So, I'm gonna put you guys back like this. 
and then uh, I'm gonna try to get the differential off and I still need to clear the workbench up again degrease all the parts um, inspect the parts and order them in the way I would like them to be in <clears throat> I've also uh, took a, a little bit of time and inspected some of the things uh, that came out of the gearbox and the main thing I'm concerned about is this gear right here you can see two chips on it I'm guessing that's not regular um, other than that uh, I believe there is a bearing behind this one but there's a little bit of play but not enough to really go the extra mile of changing that bearing as well though I have it this one definitely needs to get be changed um, this one has a whole heap of problems as you can see the the things the, the rollers are actually loose one of them already dropped out um, I think this is the, the main problem for my gearbox whining the other side is also a bit of play I will check the new one to check the uh, the amount of play it has and then uh, this is the secondary shaft we also have some play but not much on this bearing though it might be normal we'll check uh, we'll need to find someone with a hydraulic press to get the bearings off but that's uh, the plan other than that I didn't really notice much things to be wrong like I said I need to change this one I'm gonna try and polish this one back up um, and that's about it uh, So I'm gonna put the housing back down or on its side like this. It's maybe easiest. I mean I'm gonna check the manual to see what needs to be done first. It's not a shame to use the manual. If you have one, just use one. I'd say. Um, Diff, 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 diff. Here's the diff. Shaft. Okay. So, diff. To unbolt the diff, we need to loosen up. Uh, I'm gonna turn it on its side a bit for you guys to see. So, we need to loosen these two these two, these two, and these two and then the diff will come off but before that we also need to remove this which is actually the attachment for a mechanical speedometer because this one is bolted to the gearbox uh, bell housing so this one goes first and then we're gonna do the rest so I'm gonna place it on its side like this and we can Comments. I don't think that's a size 13, though I'm not sure. Yeah, size 13.
that's off. It goes over there. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm gonna use this. Uh, I think it's yeah, size 11. I'm going to remove the input shaft housing, small housing, or whatever you wanna call it. And get the seal out. To the housing so this one's our size 11 Then these two also size 11, but they have a piece of stud, so I need to use an open ended spanner, uh, a round spanner, or a deep socket, of course, <coughs> whatever you like. And to check the size, no, uh, no. What will it be? That's a uh, size sixteen. So, try to separate this by using a hammer and a block of wood, maybe. That doesn't work. Flip it over again. So, watch out for potential seals if you want to reuse them, don't kill them. Over here is a nice location to start prying, possibly. Nope. Need to read. So there are lots of so there are two locations which are reserved. 
to pry on, which is this and that, where I was prying. So put it down like this. Take two screwdrivers. Uh, where's my other one? And start gently prying it off. Just to check I got everything. I'm gonna take a piece of paper again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take out the seal. So I got the seal that goes on here. And if you have a speedometer, there's actually another bit in there along with uh, another gear, but I don't, so they aren't inside here. So that's about it, I guess. So this will require some more effort, I guess. To get this thing off oh, yeah so coming gently it should be free now a little bit and that's the diff housing it's already one seal here uh, put it aside see this this is all metal shavings and goop gunk all metal you see this 